uh, today we will be understanding the uh, difference between uh, simple interest and compound interest. Very simple, we have learned it over lower standard. Uh, simple interest does not carry interest on interest. Compound interest carries interest on interest. Let us say for example, uh, uh, I have invested 100 rupees at the rate of 10% interest rate per annum. Then first year's interest would be 10 rupees. Amount after one year, amount is principal plus interest. So amount after one year will be 110. But in second year, the interest will not be 11 rupees but will remain 10 rupees because I don't get interest on interest. The amount total will become 120 after rupees. In compound interest, if the same rate is used 10% per annum and I have invested same principal amount that is 100, principal amount is invested today. In first year, I will be getting interest of rupees. So, amount after one year will be 110 and uh, it will be same in simple interest even. But in compound interest in second year, I will be getting 11 rupees. That is, I will get interest on interest and total amount after one year will be 120. That is, amount after rupees. So, here I get 120, here I get 121. The simple difference of 1 rupees is I got interest on interest on this. Got it. The question comes, why you don't get interest on interest as far as simple interest is concerned? It is very simple. I invest 100 rupees. I get 10 rupees as interest. What I have invested after first year is 110. The answer is no. In simple interest, normally I am using this. Basically, I am withdrawing this interest. Now, if I withdraw this interest, what is invested in second year is only 100 and so I am not getting interest on 110 rupees and I am getting only on 100 rupees. Because I have used it, I have withdrawn it. There is a wrong concept that some bank gives simple interest, some bank gives compound interest. If you are going to use, you withdraw your interest, you need to calculate your question with simple interest. If you are not going to withdraw your interest, then you need to calculate with compound interest. So, all bank gives a rate of interest. Whether it is simple interest or compound interest depends on whether you are using your interest or not, or whether you are using your interest or not using your interest. So, in simple interest, you are just using your interest. You don't get interest on interest. We calculate the quotient as per the formulas, as per the concept of simple interest. In this, you are not using your interest, reinvesting your interest and so we calculate compound interest, all the formulas concept of uh, uh, compound interest with the Thank you.